Cryogenic stasis. Suspended. Both computers are still working. That's good. Checking through the logs. Hopefully it's all... Just... find it. Pod C6. Down the hall near the end. from that time. It all kind of blends together. It was almost always a bar, though. That's universal. There was always someone who wanted someone else dead. Sometimes just roughed up, but uh, dead was usually what they wanted. Sometimes they thought they could cheat me. That was usually only when I first arrived somewhere. Didn't matter to me. They just took it as part of the job. A little extra thrown in for free. I always got paid in the end. One way or another. See, there was always a job for someone like me. I don't remember much from that time. It all kind of blends together. It was almost always a bar, though. That's universal. How did you think this was going to end, Kellogg? <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us, and we wouldn't fuck with you? and hope someone else is going to keep them safe. Teacher at school said the NCR would bring back the good old days, like before the big war. Don't you listen to that twaddle. I'm going to stop singing you if that's what they're teaching you. I'm going out. Where the fuck did you put my boots? Listen to me, Connie. You take this. You're old enough. You're the man of the family now. It's your job to protect us. Your father's useless, but you won't turn out like him. You're a good boy. And all that on the radio. All useless talk. The only thing that will protect you in this world is that gun in your hands. You need to learn to use it if you're going to survive. I... I will, Mom. I promise. We'll let you down. You've always been my good boy. Dad was either drunk or not around. I guess he must have run with one of the raider gangs, but I never really knew what he did. Don't know why Mom was with him. Maybe at some point in his life he wasn't a complete asshole. Someone else is going to keep them safe. Teacher at school said the NCR would bring back the good old days. Like, before the big war. 
Don't you listen to that twaddle. I'm going to stop sending you if that's what they're teaching you. I'm going out. Where the fuck did you put my boots? Listen to me, Connie. You take this. You're old enough. You're the man of the family now. It's your... Just so you know, they died like dogs. And you weren't there to help them. This is the one. Here. Open it. <laughs> is it over? <coughs> Are we okay? Almost. Everything's going to be fine. Come here. Come here, baby. No, no. I've got him. Let the boy go. I'm only gonna tell you once. I'm not giving you son! God damn it. Get the kid out of here and let's go. Please we still have the backup. Cryogenic sequence reinitialized. What's the holdup? I'm almost finished, Kellogg. I just need to confirm. All right, we're good. Okay. I don't know what kind of side effects the procedure might have had. No one's ever done this before. How do you feel? Oh. Am I okay? Are you seeing anything bad? Don't be alarmed. But I honestly don't know what to look for. As I said before, this is uncharted territory. But your neural and physiological readings have returned to normal. From a medical standpoint, you're fine. Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? I saw Kellogg's life. The man who ruined my family. The man I killed. That's right. He was a human being just like the rest of us. And he had reasons for being what he was. However cruel. How does that make you feel? It wasn't all his fault. I can't blame him for everything that happened. If I were a priest, I would say forgiveness is a good thing. We're getting off track. The important thing is that we discovered the Institute's greatest secret, teleportation. 
The only question is, what do we do now? That scientist Kellogg was supposed to track down. Virgil, we need to find him. You're right. A rogue Institute scientist could answer all kinds of questions. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing sea? That doesn't make sense. No one goes there. Not even if they were desperate. Why? What makes the glowing sea so dangerous? The name says it all. Radiation. So much that nothing there could possibly live. Nothing pleasant. Navigating radioactive hazards is nothing new. But the glowing sea can kill a man in seconds. That's why it doesn't make sense. Virgil fleeing into that hell. The exposure alone. That's why he's there. To make the Institute think twice about following him. That must be it. He's using the radiation and the glowing sea like a shield or a cloak. A way to throw them off and be at an advantage. If Virgil found a way to survive there, you'll have to do the same. If you're going to follow him. How do I fight that much radiation, Doctor? There are chemical compounds. Radax, Radaway. You'd need as much as you could carry. Maybe more. A sealed environment suit would be great if you could find one. Or maybe one of those suits of power armor? That would be perfect. Oh no. I'm not going there. That's crazy. And plunging into a dead man's memory wasn't crazy? You've already done the impossible. Who's to say God won't let you do it again? Look, think it over if you have to, but it's the only path I can offer. Through the glowing sea to Virgil. By the way, I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Remove the implant while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs. Dr. Amari. Be careful of the radiation. The glowing sea isn't a place to be caught unprepared. Nick. Hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. <laughs> that was right. I should have killed you when you were on ice. Kellogg? Is that you? What? What are you talking about? You sounded like Kellogg just then. Did I? Huh. Mari said there might be some mnemonic impressions left over. Anyway, I feel fine, so let's get going. We have to head into the Glowing Sea. Any advice? Hmm. I'm a synth, so radiation isn't much of an issue for me, but an old suit of power armor might just be the guardian angel you're looking for. That or you could buy up all the Radex and Rad away you can find from any chem dealer who's got it in stock. Let's get going, Nick. Been one heck of a ride so far. Let's see where it takes us next.